Hello and welcome to Wheel Thing TV. I'm Dave Canole on this bitterly cold winter's morning. This is the Sangyong Tivoli. It's one of the small cars that are available from this other Korean brand and it will soon be replaced by a car that we've already had here called the Corando sometime in 2019. The Sangyong Tivoli, soon to be replaced by the Corando, is based on the Kia Soul. She is a fair bit of the same platform and especially in profile as you can see there it's got that very same steeply raked windscreen, a chunky front end, a slight difference in the rear, it actually looks a little bit like the new Mini of all things. Diesel engine, pulls pretty well, not a lot of lag in it either, handles quite nicely, drives well enough, a reasonably slick shifting automatic in the, uh, the car as well, and overall not a bad presence on the outside. Rear end certainly reminiscent of that uh, classic redone British car called the Mini. Nice simple little boot here as well. If we can get that open, there we go. Just enough room there for a week shopping and a little bit of a cargo blind there as well. Very simple to operate in regards to the split fold rear seats as well, as things should be. And a very tidy looking cabin and uh, quite a classy little look as well. It's a very comfortable little office inside the Tivoli. It's got some very nicely textured plastics here, an AM FM only tuner, doesn't have dab. And it's um, still got this weird, for this particular station, WSFM here in Sydney, where it uh, skips almost like a jumping record or a slightly skippy CD. Uh, an unusual little parcel shelf just in there, but overall quite a, uh, a decent little design and just a little bit of an oddity here when you're in park mode actually has a tyre indicator, which, um, or direction indicator I should say, um, probably not a bad idea when it comes to uh, when you're parking the car up against the kerb, so you kind of know uh, where you are, and maybe not scrape the wheels, there are only 16 inches on this by the way. Uh, nice looking little dash with that red lining, overall quite an impressive presence on the inside as well, probably just needs a little bit more visual excitement in some way, but it does have this lovely European style curve around the dash into the doors. The Sangyong Tivoli turned out to be quite a nice little car to drive. It's uh, not the top of the range, this particular version here, and uh, you'll probably find a little bit more uh, visual excitement on the inside. But as a car to drive, it's certainly worth looking at. Check it out at sangyong.com.au. For a Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.